hi what's up welcome back to another youtube video my name is lauren if you're new today i'm going to be filming a q a so i asked over on instagram for you guys to ask me some questions and i'm going to go through and answer those questions today so let's get into the questions the first question i'm going to answer is tell us about yourself so i am 26 years old i've been doing youtube for about a little over two years and i have been doing it consistently for a year which by consistently i mean like posting at least one video a week i graduated from the university of central florida rosen college of hospitality management about three years ago now i have a degree in hospitality management so i don't work in my degree i feel like that's more common too it's hospitality which i feel like hospitality you can take into any job especially if you're dealing with like customers and clients and stuff like that i'm definitely not in like hotels travel restaurants or any of that stuff so okay what career field are you in so i have never really i guess just told everyone what i do but I work in operations in a shared office space or an executive office space. So I'm like reading down what I wrote <laughs> to explain what I do. So I do client billing every month, which is a lot of numbers. I set up events that we do. We do weekly events, um, like little things, like we do wine and cheese and stuff like that. Um, so I take care of clients' needs on a day-to-day -day in the office, set up their office, which means moving furniture, building furniture, so they are ready to move in. And then when they move out, I do the move out process. No day in the office is the same as the day before. And that's what I think I love about my job is that every day is different. So you run into like a new problem, so you need to be good at problem solving, multitasking, definitely. You have to leave personal things at the door because you're dealing with people all day long. I really do like that my job keeps me on like a set routine though, like I'm there from 8.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, all of the time. So if someone asks, what's your long-term career goal? <sighs> this was like a hard question when I saw it. I obviously want to like grow and progress. I know short term I want to move up with my current company. I can't tell you what long term looks like for me. Me as a person, I never knew what I wanted to do, what I wanted to grow up and become. I had crazy <laughs> interests as a kid, like I wanted to be like an astronaut, like I just wanted to do like all these like crazy things and becoming an adult i have yet to find something that i don't i don't know i don't have a long-term career goal i'm go with the flow with that aspect of my life um on a day-to-day -day, i'm very like plan everything out but i can't plan stuff like that out because nothing works out the way that you plan it to being someone that isn't necessarily working in the career field that they thought they would be working in i just don't know my like career goal for this year is to move into management with my company i've actually been working towards and trying to get into a management position for the past few months so that is my short term i guess career goal definitely see myself growing and moving up with my company and i will be taking that opportunity if it is presented to me by the end of the year that's my goal currently and by next year that goal could change and i could find a different job do whatever but i'm trying to get that position move in to that position and grow with my company in that aspect and if that opportunity doesn't come to me then i will figure it out when i get there and figure out what my next step career wise is then but by the end of the year i'm hoping to be in management with my current job so i am currently working on that and that's in the process i haven't really shared that on my channel but yeah i'm trying to move up work 
in management and stuff like that so that's my short-term career goal as for youtube career-wise i plan to still document my life take you guys along with me throughout everything but nine to five work wise i am trying to move into management currently so it's exciting keep your fingers crossed for me i hope to be there by the end of the year and if that doesn't happen then i will figure out my next step then but hair care routine um i use olaplex shampoo and conditioner i use the olaplex hair mask i use it's a 10 um leave-in conditioner and then i use like a t3 blow dryer i have like a how i curl my hair video and it shares a lot of the products that i use in that video and i'll link it down below other than that i use heat on my hair once a week so i only blow dry it once a week and then the other time i let it air dry so i only wash my hair twice a week i think not washing your hair every day really helps the hair growth process and the healthy hair so what kind of car do you drive do you like it i drive a mercedes gla i love it i've had it for almost two years and i have no complaints with it it is literally just the best car and coming from a car that constantly had problems and had issues it's just such a great switch i used to drive a volkswagen and volkswagens just had at least mine did the most issues but i did put a lot of miles on it i put like 250,000 miles on my old car so i feel like at a certain period of time it just starts to everything starts to fall apart so so your favorite thing about living in orlando this is a hard question because i've only ever lived in orlando so i think my favorite thing about living in orlando is having my family here it's all i've ever known so i can't really say like my favorite part like my favorite part is i went to school here like my whole life is here i have never lived anywhere else so my favorite thing would just be everyone i've met and know and is a part of my life and my family okay where do you see yourself in five years married with kids same job career wise i plan to continue getting up there growing um stuff like that so i don't know if i see myself doing the same job in five years like five years ago i was a completely different person than i am right now and in five years i'll be a completely different person than i am right now so i don't know career wise and it's so hard when you're like when people ask you what's your long-term career goal or where do you see yourself in five years career wise it's just it's hard because this is like the time where you're growing the most and what i set for myself now is going to be completely different in a year from now two years from now especially five years from now i just don't know who i'm going to be in five years i probably see myself married maybe with kids i i'll be 31 so definitely married but yeah so i don't really know where do you pull your content inspo from it's no one in specific or particular that i pull my content inspo from i find that i pull the most inspiration from myself I feel like whenever i edit my videos i get re-inspired and kind of come up with more things as i'm editing so i do follow bloggers youtubers stuff like that maybe their content can inspire me a little bit but i find the most inspiration from editing my videos so i really enjoy the editing process for sure what is your ideal date night is this like going out to eat type of thing probably sushi probably not getting like too dressed up what makes you happy my family friends boyfriend um, quality time with those people definitely makes me happy what part of florida do you live in i live in orlando what curling iron do you use i'll put it on the screen i've had this curling iron for so many years it's actually my sister's curling iron because mine just failed it's 30 bucks it's bedhead curling iron and it just it's amazing it doesn't have a a clasp or a clamp though 
which I prefer because you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Would you ever go brunette? I have actually been brunette before years ago and no, I would probably never do it again. Having dark hair completely washes me out and kind of makes me look like sickly. My sister though, she can do blonde, brunette, whatever and completely rock it. But no, I would probably never go brunette. Do you plan on living in Orlando for a long time? And I don't know, I plan to live in Florida, I think. I don't ever plan to move out of Florida. I love Florida, we're close to the beaches, the weather. The only thing is it's humid. I don't see myself moving out of Florida, but potentially moving out of Orlando eventually. I'm not sure, probably. I, would, I don't think I wanna stay living in Orlando for the rest of my life. I feel like that's kind of like limiting myself and like trapping myself in a way. Do you believe in second chances? No, actually I don't because I have always given people second chances and they just continue to mess it up, ruin a friendship, ruin a relationship. So no, I don't believe in second chances. I do believe that people change, but um, I think that someone who has like done you wrong will just continue to do you wrong. So maybe they'll change with a new person, but I think cutting people off after that first chance that you give them is kind of just the way to go because a lot of my relationships and friendships have just been completely ruined based off of whatever issues those people have and i feel like i've given those people multiple chances not even just a second chance like a third chance fourth chance continuously on and they never changed so no i don't really believe in second chances but i do believe people change just go change with someone else i don't want to put up with it we're just getting to the age where i'm like we're too old <laughs> you're wasting my time at a certain point to be giving you more chances than you deserve so no i don't believe in second chances but obviously if you guys believe differently do whatever you want feel best based off of your situation but no i don't believe in them if you could tell your 18 year old self anything right now what would it be be patient i know it's so hard be patient your life will completely go in a different way than you ever expected it to go the person that i was at 18 is not the person that i am at 26 and it's okay to take things at your own pace at 18 i was going to community college because i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life so i went to community college for two years got an aa which isn't i i feel like it's not completely uncommon I had no idea what I wanted to do. I Once I got into college, a university, I changed my major three times. My mom passed away. Everything that I planned for my life is completely off from what had actually happened in my life. So definitely just don't plan anything. Be patient. Everything is going to work out. Um, and it's always gonna be better than what you thought or wanted what do you love most about doing youtube probably editing is number one i really do enjoy editing and then two is i really enjoy talking to all of you guys when you dm me or comment on my videos i enjoy talking to you guys and getting to know you guys and the people that do reach out on a regular basis you guys are incredible. It's cool to have like friendships with people that are everywhere, like all over the world. So probably just opening up so many like doors for people to come into my life, meeting you guys, and then like editing are like my two favorite things. What's your top two to three advices for a happy life slash relationship? My biggest advice for a happy life is stop trying to be like everyone else i grew up trying to be like other people and trying to 
like just like I wasn't expressing myself in any way shape or form like I kind of just like would look around and see what everyone else was doing and do that too I was definitely not my own per person growing up I was just a shy quiet girl as I grow up I've like learned to kind of be me and do what I like and I think that's the biggest advice for a happy life is be your own person do things that you like to do and stop trying to fit into like a mold of someone else um stop trying to fit into everyone else around you just do what you like and i think my next biggest advice for a happy life is i think this is like the perfect advice for like getting hate getting picked on um stuff like that is don't take criticism from someone you wouldn't go to for advice so if someone is picking on you sending you rude comments or being like just rude don't take their criticism and their opinion of you because would you go to them for like advice on something probably not so so advice for a happy relationship would be definitely have your own life and your own hobbies and your own interests apart from your partner i think going into a relationship being secure and solid in yourself is the most important for a happy relationship before i met christian i was single for over a year and it was the best thing that ever happened to me it I completely changed into like a completely different person and I feel like by the time that he walked into my life when I wasn't even looking for anyone um, I wasn't even supposed to meet him that night everything happens for a reason but um, definitely having your own life and being secure and confident in yourself is the most important thing to bring into a relationship keeping a relationship like happy is definitely spending time alone having your own wind down routine being respectful of each other and respectful of like space especially when you live together just having fun too is one of the most important things for a happy relationship because life only gets more serious you start to bring more things into a relationship like kids you grow with your career it's just a lot more things as you get older and i think having a fun relationship and having fun with each other is the most important thing and making sure that you have that safety and security of like the other person like you want to come home and know that you're safe with someone else what would you say is a big accomplishment for you thus far probably doing youtube is a big accomplishment for me i never would have pictured putting myself out on the internet like i do now because of how badly i was picked on so i think this is my biggest accomplishment putting myself out there regardless of what people say or have said about me i never thought never ever ever thought i would be filming myself and putting these videos out on the internet and I feel like it takes a lot to be able to do that I say this is a big accomplishment for me I feel like my confidence has gone up I am just different since starting YouTube and definitely starting like my job that I have had for like two and a half years I think I am a completely different person I speak with more confidence I project my voice i stand up straighter i just am more confident since doing youtube so i'm gonna end on this how do you bring yourself up when you're not feeling confident i love your vids thank you um i think it's really easy to not feel confident in yourself as sad as that sounds it's really easy to kind of get down on yourself especially when you are filming yourself and you're in front of a camera and then you go back and you edit the videos you can kind of be your own worst critic in that way i find that when i'm like not it's so funny 
I'll like take pictures and I'll be like, oh, these pictures are so bad. I don't look good. And then I'll look back like the next day when I'm out of that headspace. Um, and I'll be like, what are you talking about? These pictures are literally completely fine. Like you look incredible. Like you look beautiful, whatever. Um, and I'll like film up video clip and i'll be like oh i do not look good today and then i'll go back on the video clip and i'll be like what do you mean like you look fine so i think i have kind of trained myself to immediately get out of that headspace it only lasts for like a few seconds because i completely stop what i'm doing that is leading me into that headspace so if i'm taking pictures and i don't like the pictures i'm not going to keep taking the pictures i'm just going to stop and like be done with taking the pictures and um if i'm filming like a video clip i'm just gonna like stop filming the video clip or stop filming and do something that makes me happy like make a coffee or take a bath or go grab food i don't know just try and get out of that headspace because it starts from somewhere and I think unfollowing people on Instagram and social media that kind of put you in that headspace or can kind of trigger that headspace is very important too like I don't follow anyone that I compare my life to I feel like that can just be like the root of everything is you're just saying like oh they're here in life but I'm not there in life like why am I not there in life why don't I have those things all this stuff it's like definitely focusing on all the good things that you do have and working on yourself each day to help me feel the most confident i work out each day i try and eat healthy most days I'm writing down in like my journal each morning like things that i'm grateful for and i think that helps keep you in that continuous like uplifting positive headspace to where not being confident or not feeling confident doesn't come often so i think constantly working on yourself knowing how to better yourself and knowing how to keep yourself in like a great positive headspace is the most important thing when it comes to feeling confident and obviously i think too is not fitting into other people's like molds of perfect and also when you're following those accounts that kind of are like oh she has this like i need to go get that or i need to be doing that or all that unfollowing those accounts that don't lead you down that path of comparison is so important and doing things that you enjoy wearing things that you love regardless of if it's in style or in whatever trend um, wearing things that make you feel good and not trying to live up to style these days what someone else does might not be something that works for you and i think realizing that and being secure in yourself and knowing what you want and what you like helps you be the most confident version of yourself because at the end of the day you got you and that's all you got so i guess that's my my advice for getting out of a rut and not feeling that confident is trying to get out of your head and understand why you're feeling this way and try and change it at the end of the day you're not always going to feel confident and you're not always going to feel your best and that's okay but knowing how to fix that and doing things that get your mind out of that headspace each day or kind of just trying to become your best self by realizing what you have and realizing what you're grateful for and realizing all the good things that are going on right now and not focusing on other people and what other people have um, because it's your life so that is all of the questions maybe I'll do this again every few months um, it was fun to film but I hope you guys enjoyed this little q and I hope you guys learned a little bit about me or a little bit about my life. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.